We're going to get back to Katsubi's Teaching Kitchen. Maury, yes. we are still learning in here. What's next? Yes, the next one is um, Japanese Indian curry. And you could um, get these little roux boxes. And what what it is, what's it about is uh, here are some pre-cut potatoes, carrots, onions, or whatever vegetables you have. You pan fry it. Uh, the protein, uh, I'm using chicken in this case. And once uh, you, you blend it all together, you let it simmer in a crock pot for an hour or so. Okay. And of course, because of time constraints, I already have it ready made okay. if you like right. to try some. Let's see if you match and, uh, it. Pass me here. Yes, I can. But what, what you're describing here is a really sort of simple dish. Yes. It's uh, it's simple, easy. It's for the, you know, for the busy person. You don't want to spend hours uh -huh. cooking. You just uh -huh. want to hurry up and get good food in your, you know, done. And, are you uh, are you surprised with, uh, well, are people I guess surprised when uh -huh. they find out how simple some of these dishes are, even though they're yes. international dishes? Yes, great question. A lot of people I think are intimidated because it's Japanese, right. but it's the cooking isn't hard. It's finding the right ingredients. Mm. So what I do is that while we're doing class, I have you take pictures of everything and anything you think you might need. Okay. So when you go to the Asian food mart, you know, yeah, I may not be Asian, but I know what I'm doing. Right. So leave me alone. I'm shopping. I got my notes. I got my camera, so don't even bother talking to me. So Miss Miss Korean lady, but uh, you know, whatever. So. But it, I, I would make the argument that if if I learn how to make up. just this simple dish. Uh huh. And then I have company, and I make this. Oh yeah! I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna impress some people, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, you paid all this money to take my class. Of course, you will leave with so much confidence. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually in my sushi class. I train you to be a proper Japanese uh, sushi snob, because <laughs> uh, I don't. People ask me, where do you eat here? Because I am half Japanese. Okay. Mom was Japanese. I have very Japanese taste buds, mm -hmm. and. I'll leave it there. I don't want to be insulting you. Don't ask me where I won't tell you. Basically, <laughs> okay. people can mess it up is what you're saying. Well, they don't mess. It, Japanese is, you have to be Asian enough to know if you're eating the right stuff. Mm. Okay. So I give you. I just, eat, I just eat stuff. Personally. Right. But yeah. I stay away people, from gas station sushi. Uh, <laughs> That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> but uh, if you have a standard of what sushi, proper sushi is supposed to taste like, mm -hmm. then you'll you probably end up coming to my class because you know this is the only way you can get the real stuff. Oh. So. Sorry, yes, it is conceited. I'm sorry. But talk, whatever. Yeah, talk more. No, that's just confidence. That's yeah. all that is. Oh. So, this right. is fantastic. Oh, good. I'm I mean, glad you like it. And, mm -hmm. and this would take me how long to prepare once I've had your classes? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, in my class, once you have, once you go through it, I have you do everything. I mean, today is all pre cut. Uh, first time off, you should have. I see a lot of faces in my class like we're gonna hit the Asian food mart on the way home because uh -huh. they're really anxious to get you know to do this. Yeah, they're yeah, you may you may have fun with me. That that doesn't matter. Can you do this at home? Can you replicate it? That's the more important part that I'm concerned about. And I tell people, why don't you send me pictures when you're done so I can brag about you on Facebook and. And they do. Even I'm impressed. Wow, I must be a great teacher. That sushi looks great. But uh, all right. you talk like that's all good teacher. Well, of course. And, and I'm. I just I, I love the idea of learning to do something sort of exotic mm -hmm. and then and then serving it to my friends yes. and and them thinking whoa whoa right. look at you but, yeah. <laughs> but this is the flip because right now sashimi uh, raw fish mm -hmm. is almost thirty seven dollars a pound oh whoa so now you could do it like well um, were you good to me this year do you deserve to come to my house for sushi uh -huh. did you take a bullet from my kid you oh <laughs> uh, you can come on Taco Tuesday but not on Sushi Sunday right you, right you, right that's another level very specific of, uh, yes, guests of course get invited for a Sushi Sunday and, um, and presumably when you talk about that raw fish yes. you have to get that someplace special Right. Um, there's a Japanese, I call it Japanese, Japanese market called One World Market behind the Castleton Mall. They're mostly catering to, they cater to us, but specifically the Japanese uh, workers that are, you know, working at Toyota, Suburu, I don't know, Mitsubishi. And only there I directly uh, have people go there because it is, even though it says sushi great, the FDA doesn't, you know, recognize it. But those of us who eat sushi, we know. Don't not don't Let go to Kroger and eat raw fish. You know not to do that. Katsumi's yes. teaching kitchen, folks. Yes. 